John Henry was a little baby. He was sitting on his daddy's knee. Picked up a hammer and a little piece of steel, said, Hammer be the death of me, long, long. Hey, hammer be the death of me. Well, the captain said, John Henry, gonna bring me a steam drill round. Gonna bring that steam drill out on the job. Gonna whoop that mountain down, Lord, Lord. Whoop that mountain down. John Henry said to the captain, oh, man, ain't nothing but a John Henry went up on the mountain. Oh, that hammer it was flashing fire. Last words I heard that poor boy say, Give me a cool drink of water for I die. Lord, Lord, give me a cool drink of water for I die. John Henry drove. so hard that he broke his heart lay down his hammer and he died oh Lord, he laid down that hammer and he died well you know it was 1867 uh, charlie crocker and 40,000 chinese guys had worked their way from sacramento up to colfax not very far from here and it took them three years to get there but once they got that far, they kind of figured out how to lay the tracks. They were heading, heading east from Sacramento, and they had to get up the Sierras. And in a single summer, they cut 14 tunnels through the mountain till they got to the final tunnel right up there at the summit. They hit the summit tunnel, and there they hit rock so hard that 30,000 men working on four surfaces of rock, because they sunk a tunnel down the middle and working out from the inside out, could only chip away eight inches of rock a day. Now the summit tunnel is only a quarter mile long, but in the end it took two years to complete. It cost six million dollars, and that's in 1867 money. And it's, to this day, it's the most expensive stretch of track on the continent. Now an interesting fact about that was during that time a salesman came out of the east, and he had a newfangled piece of equipment called a steam drill. And he wanted to try the steam drill on the summit tunnel. But Charlie Crocker wasn't interested in experimental equipment. And in the end, they never tried the steam drill on the summit tunnel. And I think the reason for that was because the steam drill had gotten into a race with a uh, steel driving man named John Henry in the Big Bend Tunnel in West Virginia. And the John Henry drove 15 feet and the steam drill only did nine tarnished the reputation of the steam drill. It took a little while for it to catch on. Well, they took John Henry to the White House. Well, they buried him in the sand. And every locomotive come rolling by says, there lies a steel driving man. Lord, Lord, said, there lies a steel driving man. When that bluebird begins to sing, you can hear John Henry out on the line.
you can hear that hammer ring long, long. You can hear that hammer ring. There you go. It's a true story.